And we're about making this place, in the time that they come to take it, the standoff point. We want to make this as ugly and as difficult for the other side as possible. Should the government be able to tear down homes and businesses and put a basketball stadium in their place? That's what New York is doing right now in Brooklyn. It's really about community, you know, it's about community and it's about art. And it's about embracing the concept of an old saloon. You know, like in the Old West, when they were settling a town, the first building that they would build would be the saloon. It's a, it's a meeting place. It can be a cultural center. Uh, I love it because everyone's friendly. There's music. Esquire magazine, one of the best bars in America. Time Out said Freddy's is perhaps the ultimate saloon experience. I like coming here because of the environment and because of the people. A Village Voice, best bar in Brooklyn. Village Voice, best videos in a bar. There's awesome beers. The bartenders are so sweet. Our friends, uh, we met here, and, and they've remained our friends for, you know, God, we've been here 12 years now. You can feel it when you, when you first walk in the door. There's just like a power. There's, a, there's an energy. There's a warmth. There's sort of an excitement. We're very proud of all the elements, you know, the video, the music, um, you know, even the regulars. You know, you covet and develop regulars. We all know each other's names here. Uh, it's not Cheers. It's uh, something much darker and richer. There's just so much going on here and such a good, good vibe. Freddy's Bar on Dean Street has been named one of the best bars by Esquire magazine. But that's not stopping it from getting displaced by the Atlantic Yards Project. The Atlantic Yards Project is basically a plan to build a basketball stadium for the New Jersey Nets in the middle of a neighborhood that abuts downtown Brooklyn. It's a money-making venture for a real estate tycoon named Bruce Ratner who wants to build this basketball stadium. He's a part owner of the Nets. And he plans to bring the Nets from New Jersey to Brooklyn. But first, Ratner wants the government to help him tear down Freddy's Bar and other homes and businesses in order to make room for the stadium. And Ratner isn't acting alone. His business partners include the multimillionaire rapper Jay-Z, a Russian billionaire, and the controversial community organizing group Acorn. They all want their friends in big government to seize land on behalf of Ratner's Atlantic Yards project. And most of all, to our great borough of Brooklyn, USA. Yeah. The New York State and the federal constitutions allow for eminent domain takings for what's called a public use. So what we have here is a classic case of eminent domain abuse. This is not a public project. This is not a road, it's not a highway, it's not a bridge. This is a basketball stadium for a private team. It's a private enterprise, they're gonna sell tickets. The public can't just walk in the door, you gotta buy tickets. I am in favor of development. I live in New York City. We wouldn't have a New York City if it wasn't for development. We have a situation here where the referees are bought off. For us, it's not a game. For us, it's uh, being under the thumb of, of these people and the government, which they use as their, as their instrument. The Fightin' Freddies is a group of patrons uh, from Freddies that do not want to see the bar closed, and we want to save the neighborhood. What's going on here is uh, wrong on top of wrong multiplied by extra wrong, and uh, we're not afraid to break the law. I will handcuff myself to this bar. <laughs> Like I said, it's a show of my solidarity and, 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 and other members of the neighborhood and the community and, uh, sure, willing to go to jail. Of course. Sure. sure. What can they do to me? Our best option is uh, civil disobedience, public action, raising public awareness. Uh, this is more than just a symbolic handcuffing. We're about bringing this law down. We have a state senator who's going to lie down in front of the bulldozer. She'll, she'll be outside. She doesn't drink, though. We'll be inside. We've tried to make the cuffs long enough so we can get to our beers. They're taking away my livelihood. The rest doesn't matter, you know, uh, and my, uh, and a great spot, a great spot in the neighborhood, a thriving spot in the neighborhood. Uh, so, yeah, of course, I'll be here. I will be here. Now i got to serve this lady. Some argue that fighting for Freddy's Bar is a lost cause. Don't tell that to Donald, Matthew, and Steve. The Atlantic Yards project isn't a legitimate public use. It's a land grab. And if New York can tear down Freddy's, they can tear down any business or home in the state. That's eminent domain abuse, and it's got to stop. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.